So guys, recently I made the really expensive purchase of an SSD. Why? Well, because I'm a media advocate and I wanted somewhere to store all of my data. I wanted to be able to access it fast and I also wanted it to be really reliable. I wanted to throw this thing around, throw it into a bag and it'd be absolutely fine. That is a one terabyte portable SSD that cost me over 200 pounds. I was thinking to myself one evening, I wonder if there's a way that we could build our own portable SSD using parts from Amazon and do it less than 25% of the cost of that and still have the added speed and reliability that an SSD gives you. Hopefully all the parts I've ordered are at the office. Let's drive there now and see if we can save some money and build this thing. Welcome to TechFlow. <music> So between you and me guys, I've wanted to do this for so, 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 so long. This stuff has actually been at the office for quite some time, sat here just collecting dust. We've had so many other projects to be working on here on TechFlow that I just haven't had time to do this little fun project and build our own SSD. I'm going to show you guys how simple it actually is. So as I mentioned at mine, this is my recent purchase. It's from SanDisk. This isn't sponsored or anything. I bought this with my own money. One terabyte SSD. It's robust. It's tiny. You can take it anywhere. And essentially, it's got USB-C on it. And it stores all your files and it's super, super quick. What I'm actually going to do is do a quick speed test of this so we can compare the speeds between the SSD that we build and our portable SSD here. Now I want you guys to remember right off the bat that this SSD that we build is going to be nowhere near as fast as this, but it's going to be fast enough. Now you could possibly get it near these speeds if you spent a lot of money on an SSD, but what we're trying to do here is keep things cheap but also make sure that the SSD is going to be reliable and fast enough to do 4K video editing, which what else are you really going to be doing anyway? So this is Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. It's an application that you can get on both Mac and Windows, and essentially what it does is it lets you know the speed of any drive connected to your computer. So let's just get some readings of our SanDisk drive here. So as you can see, we're writing at around 483 megabytes per second, and we are reading around 525 megabits per second. That's interesting. So what we'll go ahead and do is just disconnect this little drive, put it off to one side, because we are going to build our own SSD. This is going to be super, super fun. Got all the parts here. Let me show you how we can do this. Now I'm going to actually keep the laptop open so I can go through the prices of all of these things with you. So this is the Yurgreen 2.5 inch hard drive enclosure. Now they do two variants of this. One of them's cheaper at $10.99 and one of them's more expensive at $13.99. We've got the $13.99 one here because it has a USB-C port on it instead of a SATA port. So you can go ahead and connect anything USB-C to this and you'll be absolutely fine. It's just worth the extra three quid to bring yourself into the future. And then all you need is an SSD to put in side of it. Now we've got two variants here. We've got a 256 gigabyte SSD from SanDisk and we've also got a crucial 512 gigabyte SSD. Now the SSD that you want to buy and put in this is going to depend and change your performance of your drives. So if you get a super fast read and write SSD you'll have super fast speeds and if you don't well it'll be cheaper but you won't have super super fast speeds. But to be honest between me and you guys any SSD is going to be able to well take care of most of your portable storage needs. Most people don't need really, really fast speeds just to take their data around with them. The most I will ever need, for example, is to be able to edit 4K and one of these drives should do just fine. Now if you did want to build yourself a one terabyte option, let's have a look. You can buy a one terabyte SSD here, £114. There's some that go a little bit more expensive, but I would say if you did a little bit of searching, you could get a one terabyte SSD for around £100 instead of £200. And to be fair, building this thing yourself is going to be quite fun. So we'll start by taking our year green out of its little box and see what we've got inside of here. Now enclosures for SSDs or much rather two and a half inch drives is nothing new. They've been around for quite some time now and I just didn't know about it. So I'm trying to educate people on this that possibly don't. Essentially, plastic enclosure. I really like this year green one. It has a light on it, I think, to show activity. You've got a USB-C port on there. And then the back of it just opens up as to which it's quite tough, actually, which is good. It's going to protect your drive. 
you can put your two and a half inch drive inside of there, and there you can see where it connects up. And it's actually got a little bit of rubber at the end to make sure your drive stays nice and snug. Lovely. And then what else do we get in the box? Well, a couple of stickers and hopefully, ah, oh, there it is, it's in the end there, our USB-C cable. So now what we're gonna do essentially is take our drive apart like that and uh, reveal our connector. I'm just gonna go ahead now and unbox our SSD of choice. I'm gonna use this 525 Crucial one because this unit is actually gonna be used as a TechFlow hard drive for storing old footage and taking footage around. Like we've said, SSDs are super, super reliable. So, you know, when I'm giving this thing to the TechFlow editors, I can be assured that when they throw it in their bag, it's not gonna break. So here is our SSD, super, super lightweight. We've got our contacts right there and hopefully these are just gonna connect straight into there. One thing I have just noticed is there's actually some rubber on the side, which is gonna keep it from moving side to side. And simply enough, guys, that is it. Done. We now have ourselves in front of us a 512 gigabyte SSD that I've built for myself for, I think this has cost me around 41 pounds. 200 pounds. 41 pounds. And the best part, they're both USB-C, so I can steal the USB-C to USB-C cable from my brand new 200 pound hard drive, plop it in there, go ahead and plug it into the laptop. A little status light has come straight on there, which is a good sign. The computer is asking me to initialize this SSD, so that is exactly what we shall do. Let's format it. And there we go, our disc is now on the desktop. We can go ahead and open it up and then we can hopefully, let's see if we can drag some stuff to it. I've got a video right here which is almost three gigabytes in size, 2.88 gigs, so let's get that straight off to our SSD. And as you guys can see, we've got, look at that, done! Five seconds, five seconds! Okay, black magic speed test. Three, two, one. 475 megabits per second, like, I didn't even think it would be that good, but it just is that good. Compared to our speeds before coming in at around 482 and 525, you really just can't complain when this is costing you 200 pounds and this is costing you, well, I suppose if you put a one terabyte SSD in this, it's gonna cost you about half the price at 100 pounds, and you've had the fun of building it yourself. Now, obviously, the size isn't really comparable. This is almost too tiny. That tiny, you could almost lose it, I would say. This, it's gonna live in your backpack, you've got all the storage you need, and you've built the goddamn thing yourself, so it's always gonna mean more to you. I don't know, I just think this is really, really interesting that, they sell this for this much, and you can just build your own, and it really is that simple. There you go, guys. My name's been Alex. This has been TechFlow. Say hi to the new TechFlow SSD. I'll see you in the next one. Guys, if you want to see more of our TechFlow quick tips, we've got some right there. And if you're not subscribed to TechFlow and you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure you click subscribe. We'd really, really appreciate it.